Tennessee could be the first state in the country whose Medicaid program would be funded through a large federal block grant. But not everyone agrees that the solution to provide health care coverage to Tennesseans who need it the most is that answer. Local 24 political analyst Oda Sanford shares his point of view tonight. It certainly was no surprise that dozens of people showed up at the University of Memphis Tuesday to voice opposition to Governor Bill Lee's block grant proposal to fund TenCare, Tennessee's substitution for Medicaid. The question now is, will the governor listen to the complaints expressed not just here in Memphis, but across the state? My guess is no. Lee has already made up his mind on the issue, and the public hearings are just a formality, nothing more. The governor is convinced that the nearly $8 billion block grant plan is the best way to provide health care to low-income Tennesseans without expanding Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. Tennessee would become the first state in the nation to go the block grant route. But critics warn the plan could potentially drop hundreds of needy recipients from the TenCare rolls. And since there would be little, if any, federal oversight of the grant money, the chances of abuse and fraud will increase. Tuesday's hearing in Memphis almost did not happen. Governor Lee originally planned three sessions, but the one for West Tennessee was scheduled for Jackson. State Representative Karen Camper and others deserve credit for basically shaming the administration into holding a fourth hearing. But politics controls this effort, and Democrats such as Camper and others are powerless to stop this Republican plan. As we've heard many times, elections have consequences. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.